Hello, I'm Dr. Tom Field, Executive Director of Producer Education with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association and a Colorado rancher. Thanks for joining me for this special edition of NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. It's the hottest topic in the beef industry today, country of origin labeling. Here are the basics. On September 30th, country of origin labeling, or COOL, becomes mandatory for the beef industry. On that date, the rule requires all muscle cuts and ground beef to be labeled with the country or countries in which an animal was born, raised, and processed. Aaron Morris from USDA's Agricultural Marketing Services says there are four possible categories. Under the 2008 Farm Bill, it did provide for uh, four categories of labeling. The first being U.S. country of origin, and the requirement there is either that the animal have been born, raised, and slaughtered in the United States, or if it was here on or before July 15th, it's been uh, considered to be grandfathered in and is of U.S. origin. The second category, or what we call category B, is multiple countries of origin. And that really means that it may have been born in another country and it spent the, most of its life in the United States and was slaughtered here in the United States. Our C category is imported for immediate slaughter, so it was born and raised somewhere else and was just slaughtered in the United States. And D is really for foreign meat that was imported from Canada, Australia, a variety of other countries. The rule covers meat sold at retail. So producers, unlike processors and retailers, are not directly regulated by the rule. However, processors will depend on producers to provide reliable information on the livestock's origin. An industry coalition, including NCBA, has developed this standardized affidavit that producers can use to verify the origin of their animals. You can learn more and download this affidavit by visiting our website at cattlemantocattlemen.org. Joining me in the studio today to discuss country of origin labeling and what it means to each sector of the beef industry are Tom Brink, Vice President of Risk Management with Five Rivers Cattle Feeding, Jim Santamoso, owner of the Sterling Livestock Commission in Colorado. Jim is also the past president and chairman of the board of the Livestock Marketing Association, and Herb Meishen, Vice President of Strategy and Customer Development with Cargill Meat Solutions. Gentlemen, thanks for your time today. Let's get started. Jim, let's begin with you. Tell me a little bit about your auction market and how country of origin labeling will affect how you do business. Well, thank you, Tom. It's good to be here. Our market is located in the northeast corner of Colorado. My wife, Becky, runs the office for us. My son, Jason, uh, does the, most of the auctioneering and helps me with the everyday uh, decisions and, and running of the market, so I'm very fortunate there. And we just celebrated our 50th year in business in January. So. Uh, it's very nice to have a family involved in that operation. Country of origin labeling is definitely going to affect every market across the country. It's going to require more paperwork. Uh, and as you mentioned, uh, Livestock Marketing got uh, a coalition of uh, producers and, and agriculture, uh, all kinds of people together to get this affidavit hammered out along with Undersecretary Knight. And uh, it's, that's going to ease up uh, some of our burden. It, it'll be a little bit less onerous that way. Uh, the producers will get us an affidavit. We'll keep them on file. It'll, it'll kind of mirror the, uh, the feed ban affidavits that we went through here a few years back. And uh, they will assign those to a market or to their agent, whoever they're doing the, the marketing with, and they will be kept on file. So that will help out quite a little. And they'll be in, in effect and uh, basically from here on until they uh, cancel them or, or change uh, the origin of their cattle. And, and so that's going to help us a bunch. And we will not have to send a piece of paper along with every, every animal that moves through a market or through the chain, up the chain from, uh, from here on. Uh, with those affidavits on file, we'll be able to either have our buyer's invoices printed or stamped with a rubber stamp. Of course, uh, just kind of an abbreviated, the, the livestock on this invoice are blank, and you fill it in, USA, Canada, Mexico, whatever, and one of our market representatives will sign that, and so that'll, that'll help us a bunch, and, and it'll help our buyers out a bunch, so that's, that's kind of what will happen to us at the beginning of this deal. Sounds like industry cooperation made a little more streamlined system. Yes, yes, yeah, they did an excellent job. Tom, tell us about Five Rivers Cattle Feeding and how COOL will impact how you do business. Well, Five Rivers, Tom, is a large cattle feeding company. We have uh, 10 feed yards located in five different states, mostly in the center part of the country, but we do operate out west in Idaho as well. 
And we sell about a million and a half cattle a year and uh, buy 25 to 30,000 cattle a week and sell roughly the same number. So we, we really are going to be involved in cool on both ends of the spectrum. We'll be uh, required to receive the information from Jim and really anybody that we buy cattle from. We'll need to verify and have a, a paper trail there that can verify the origin of those cattle, whether they come from an auction market, an order buyer, direct from a producer, uh, off a of video, and just any way that we purchase cattle, of course, we're going to have to have that affidavit information uh, on file that would can verify the origin of those cattle. And then on the other side, when we're selling cattle to a packer, of course, it'll be the same thing. We'll need to verify the origin of every group of cattle that we sell to a packer. We do feed some Canadian and Mexican origin cattle. Of course, most of the cattle that we feed each year would be originating in the United States, but there would be a percentage that would come from out of the country, and, and some of those cattle would be in our feed yards right now. And so we are also planning, and I think most cattle feeders will do the same thing in using the industry standardized affidavits and a master agreement that would say U.S. origin, and that would stand in the arrangements we have on the selling side with our packers, unless otherwise noted, unless we come in and designate a certain group as either a mixed group or from out of the country origin. Thanks, Tom. And Herb, tell us about Cargill Meat Solutions and how Cool is going to impact the processing sector of the business. Uh, thank you, Tom. And Cargill Meat Solutions, we're the people in the supply chain that get to apply the country of origin to the covered commodity. Operating five fed harvest plants in the U.S. and three culled cow operations, the number of livestock flowing into these operations, the, the fed plants is approximately a million cattle a year per operation. The culled cow operations are on the order of 400,000 cattle a year. So by the time we total all this up, we've got some six and a half million or so livestock that will come from Jim and Tom into our operations. We'll assign the affidavit or we'll connect the affidavit provided to us to the actual pens or lots of livestock as we produce them. We'll then assign a country of origin to both the covered commodity that we originate and ship downstream from our sales to retail, whether that be muscle cuts or ground beef. And then a little known element out of cool is that a number of products that we produce in fact become ingredients to covered commodities. We produce some trimmings products and some byproducts that we will also assign a country of origin to so that people who convert that product into ground meat outside of our operation will be able to assign the, the origin to those products. And then the last thing we'll do is in the communication of this to retail, if in fact there is a compliance challenge placed on one of our retail customers, we'll then circle back to the connected affidavit to the lots of livestock harvested at a given time in a given facility and link that to the boxes they were shipped to Safeway or some other retailer in America so that we can confirm compliance with country of origin labeling. Thank you. 